To start this section, we need quite a few vocabulary words, so you might want to write these down in a notebook. The first two that we're going to talk about are complement or complementary and supplement or supplementary. These two words describe pairs of angles. So a pair means we have two angles that work together. Now complement or complementary angles are two angles whose measure adds up to 90 degrees. Two angles add to 90 degrees. Supplementary, on the other hand, are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Two angles add to 180 degrees. These two words right here, adjacent and non-adjacent, might go with these or they might not. Adjacent simply means that those two angles are next to each other. For example, if I drew a pair of angles like this where they have one side that is touching, these two angles right here and right there are adjacent to each other because they share one side. Non-adjacent angles are angles that do not share a side. So if I had an angle here and a completely separate angle over there, these two angles are non-adjacent or not adjacent because they do not share a side. So complementary and supplementary angles might share a side and they might not as long as they add up to the appropriate measure. Now we're going to use these two vocabulary words to solve a couple of questions. So our first question is the, about the complement and our second question is about the supplement of an angle. So this first one, angle 3 is a complement of angle 4. We know the measure of angle 3 and we know that complement means that those two angles add up to 90 degrees. So we are tasked with finding the measure of angle 4. Well, if they add up to 90 degrees and this angle is measured 46, we can simply do 90 minus 46 to figure out what the measure of the other angle would be. 90 minus 46 would be 44. So the measure of angle 4 is equal to 44 degrees. Same type of question, but with the other vocabulary word. Here we have the supplement, so those two add up to 180 degrees. Now we know that angle 7 measures 109 degrees, so let's subtract again like we did before. 180 minus 109 would give us 71. So the measure of angle 8 has to be equal to 71 degrees to get these two angles to add up to 180 degrees. So we've got complement, which adds up to 90 degrees. 44 and 46 add up to 90 together. And supplement adds up to 180 degrees. 71 and 109 together add to 180 degrees. Now let's take a look at a picture of a diagram. For that, we didn't need a diagram because we just needed to do a quick calculation. But if we take a look right here, we're asked to identify some different things. Now there's two new vocabulary words right here, and I could use the old vocabulary words with this as well. So we can see that there are angles here that add up to 180 degrees. There are angles here that may or may not add to 90 degrees. I could put some different markings like that symbol for right angles and whatnot. Our task right here first is to identify a linear pair. Now again, pair means two angles, so we're getting two angles. Linear means that those two angles form a line. So we can take, for example, angle 1 and angle 5 right here. Those two, when put together, form a straight line right there. So they are a linear pair. Going back to our first vocabulary words, it's important that these two angles are adjacent to each other. In order to create that straight line, they need to be lined up next to each other and share that side. So there are a couple of different answers for this one. We have angle 1 and 5 that form a straight line. Angle 6 and 7 together make this straight line right there. 6 and 9 together make this straight line. 9 and 8, 7 and 8 
those are all linear pairs right here. An example that wouldn't be a linear pair would be maybe three and four, because when we put those two together, it's not a straight line right there. So lots of different answers to identifying linear pairs. This next one is called vertical angles. Now vertical angles are created when two straight lines cross each other. You'll notice that when we have that intersection, we have four angles, one, two, three, and four. Vertical angles are pairs that are opposite each other. So one and three would be vertical angles. Two and four would be vertical angles. One and two are not vertical angles because they're not across from each other. Later on, we'll talk a little bit more about vertical angles and see that they're congruent to each other, but that is a topic for another time. Right now, we just need to identify them. So a few from this picture, we can see six and eight. Those are vertical angles because we have the two crossing straight lines. Seven and nine are also a pair of vertical angles. Right here, we've got one and four. This one's a little harder to see because this line might distract, but if I just look at this line right here and that line right there, we can see that one and four are vertical angles. If we again look at those two lines, we can see that five is a vertical angle to this one if we put two and three together. So we might give that angle right here two to three a special name and say that that's vertical to five. Uh, but for right now, we're just usually looking at the numbered ones right here. So one and four are vertical angles, six and eight are vertical angles, seven and nine are vertical angles, two and four here, one and three here, those are vertical angles. Thank you.